So in this experiment, we're going to test the conductivity of an ionic melt. Okay. In this crucible here, we have some zinc chloride powder. I'm going to move the Bunsen burner under the crucible containing the zinc chloride powder and gently heat it so that it melts. Okay. And what we are looking for is to see if this light bulb lights up, indicating that the circuit has com been complete, so therefore the zinc chloride melt conducts electricity. If I turn on my DC power supply just now, and the electrodes are in the solid zinc powder, you can see that the light bulb does not light up, indicating that zinc chloride solid does not conduct electricity. Okay, Zinc chloride is an ionic compound, and as a solid it does not conduct electricity. So what I am going to do now is that I am going to place the Bunsen burner under the crucible, turn it into a gentle blue flame, and we'll gently heat the zinc chloride powder and we'll see if we see any change in the conductivity of the zinc chloride. And you can see now that the light bulb has lit up as that zinc chloride has turned from a solid into a liquid, showing me that the ionic uh, melt does conduct electricity. If I take the heat away, and we allow it to solidify again, we should see that that light bulb will go out again. And you can see now that as the zinc chloride has turned from a liquid back into a solid as it's cooled down, that the light bulb has gone back out again, showing that the ionic solid is not conducting electricity.